Hey, good morning, guys. Well, a deputy with the Travis County Sheriff's Office was injured in this crash, but deputies on scene here tell me he was just taken out of precaution, so he is expected to be okay and minor injuries at this point. But the scene is now clear. This is the intersection of where that crash happened. We know that deputies tell me here that the crash took place just around 3.30 this morning at the intersection of Tuscany Way and East 290 in Northwest Austin. Traffic was being rerouted through this gas station where I'm located while authorities were working the crash. The scene just cleared a few minutes ago, so once again, all lanes are back open. I do want to clarify something. There was news circulating that the driver involved in this crash with the deputy left the scene. That is not true. Deputies here tell me that there was a stalled vehicle nearby this crash. That driver fled this scene, not the driver involved with the deputy. Back to you. Hey, good morning, guys. Right now, we still don't know how this crash happened, but we do know that a Travis County Sheriff deputy was involved in this crash that took place earlier this morning. The scene is now cleared. It cleared about an hour ago, but deputies that responded told me that the deputy involved in the crash was taken to the hospital just out of precaution, so he is expected to be okay. Hey, good morning, guys. Well, the deputy was taken to a local hospital, but fellow deputies that responded to the crash say he was just taken out of precaution. The scene is now cleared, but if you take a look at some of this video we shot earlier, it shows you just how chaotic and all of the authorities and the damage that was done to the deputy's patrol car. It happened just after 3.30 this morning at the intersection of Tuscany Way and East 290 in Northeast Austin. Traffic was being rerouted through a nearby gas station while authorities were working the crash. The scene cleared about an hour and a half ago. All lanes are back open. The driver of the other car involved in the incident is expected to be okay as well. He did stay on scene, and we're waiting to hear from the Travis County Sheriff's Office to find out what exactly happened here. Back to you. Well, the scene cleared a couple of hours ago, and we're still waiting to hear from the sheriff's office to find out how exactly this crash happened. But we do know one of their deputies was involved, and he was taken to a local hospital. But deputies that also responded, other deputies say he was just taken out of precaution, so he is expected to be okay. But the crash took place just around 3.30 this morning. Here's some video showing you what exactly had happened and some, a look at some of the damage. But it happened at the intersection of Tuscany and East 290 in northeast Austin. The streets were shut down for a couple of hours, but it finally reopened around 6 o'clock this morning, and traffic was being rerouted through a nearby gas station. There was some confusion on whether or not the other driver involved in this crash, if he stayed on scene or left. Well, that's because there was a third car nearby, a stalled vehicle. The driver of that vehicle fled the scene, but the driver involved in the crash with the deputy did stay on scene, and once again, we're still waiting to get more information to find out how this happened. Back to you. Hey, good morning, guys. Well, other deputies that responded to the crash tell me that that deputy involved was just taken to the hospital out of precaution, so he is expected to be just fine. But if you take a look at this, some of this video, it shows you the aftermath of the crash and then gives you a good idea of the damage done to the deputy's patrol car. We know that the crash happened at the intersection here of Tuscany Way and East 290 in northeast Austin. It took place around 3.30 this morning. Traffic was being rerouted through a nearby gas station while authorities were working. Working the crash. The scene cleared about two and a half hours ago, and all lanes are back open. The driver involved in the crash did stay on scene, and we're still waiting to hear from the Travis County Sheriff's Office to find out how exactly this happened. Back to you.